Wrong button. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's the night time. See, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, not right, Red. All right. Although I, uh, people in the comments in the last video said I should have named you Joey. I like Red. I'm saving the Joey name. I am gonna have one that's Joey, but I'm saving it. But today, oh yeah. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the underdogs. I'm Flinger and to, whoa. That was some poop flying right in my face. We were going so fast. That was great. Okay, so you got to slow down a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang. Oh, hey. Little bit of oil butt slurpage. Thank you. Yeah, we need to, uh, I think what, let's see, what level are we? We are not 135. We are 26. I think what I want to do, I want to go get a little bit of loot drops today. Just see what we can get. Also, I want to keep my eyes open for new, uh, ruse. Raptors over there. Oh, holy crap! Thanks, Spike. You know what I mean. Oh, wow. Okay, so right-clicking on these guys when harvesting? Did you guys see that? Holy! Oh, man, that was insane! All right. So, now that we've got that <laughs> sorted, that was one right click, by the way. All right, so, uh, yeah, these guys are insane for gathering stuff, and I'm going to go put that wood back for, uh... Thank you. A little bit of butt slurpage. Thank you. All right, I'm sorry. That just never gets old. I mean, uh, some people will be like, he's saying it's butt slurping, and it's unnerving. I'm sorry. Well, honestly... I'm sorry that I'm not sorry, because to me, it's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, hold on. oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I'm still learning my kangaroo. Okay, never mind. All right, that didn't hurt so bad. All right, uh, but yeah, um, what was I talking about before I really interrupted myself? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I got to go put this wood back. And everything like that. But, um... Today we're also going to be... Uh, looking for a whole bunch of other stuff. And also, I... I, I want to keep a little bit of kind of preliminary look out for uh, early base areas. So, yeah. Today is going to be mostly about adventure. Just to see how well uh, the new... New and improved, fully imprinted, which kind of blew my mind that we were able to get a full imprint. Thank you for just wanting walks, Red. I appreciate that. Um, today, we're going to uh, go see what all we can see with the uh, um, the dude uh, that I am pulling the stuff off of. Red! Oh, yes. Yes, Red. Um, let's see. Also, let's get all of you stuff. We just need to put up a trough here soon. Rick Ashley, you're doing great, dude. Yeah. All right. Um, also, eventually, if we can get decent raptor saddles, I do want to take out the van. Yeah, I think that could be really cool. Because look at them. They're just down here just chilling out, doing their thing. Wow, we're going to have a lot of uh, narcotics on the road. It's kind of necessary after the Dodickers robbed us of everything. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. Oh, a little bit too far. Yeah, I meant to do this. Guys, look. Yeah, <laughs> that was fully planned. Let's see, um, let's just get this stuff out of here. Put all this stuff in. Get this stuff up and going. Wow. Okay, 108. Not bad. All right, put all this one inside of here. All right, so, and this is a thing we're absolutely going to have to be doing all, the whole time is getting some, getting, uh, um, 
adobe ready or clay ready for adobe it's where we can uh start working on a base but i don't i don't want to put my main base down here i just don't i mean it's a really good spot but after you after a while hello <laughs> this just never gets old all right but um after a little while you know once we finally get desert cloth which is still some levels off um I, uh... I want to put our base somewhere else. Some place I haven't ever built before on Scorched Earth. Because I built in a lot of different places. And a lot of them are really, really cool. Wow, okay. So we have a reduced poop time as well. That's pretty cool. And um, a lot of the dinosaurs we're going to be covering in this, a lot of the uh, mounts and tames and stuff, they're ones we've already covered on the island. But how you treat dinos or tames on the individual maps really varies uh, depending on the map. Like on, say, the island, the Rue really isn't that great. I mean, it's good, but honestly, on Scorched Earth, it is just so much better. It's so much more useful, uh, I mean, because you have these wide open areas that you can just jump across, and on the island, you really don't. So, hello. What level are you? See? I, you're right there, and I can see it right like that. But, you know, I have a spyglass now. So, the spyglass has to be used if we've got the spyglass. Just saying. Oh, one thing we do need to go try, though. Well, first, I want to see who wins this mosh. 15, 50, 40, 20. Oh, that was four. I thought it said 140 there for a sec. 10. All right. Okay, so the raptors died. All right, but one thing I also want to go take a look at here really quick. Hey, there's my level! Eighteen. And I even had people in the comments reminding me, Hey, Flagger! Crossbow! <laughs> We've got it! We've got the crossbow! I was showing bet I looted crossbow Ingram today. Alright, one thing I do want to go take a look at is these purple flowers up here. I want to see how well red harvests them. Bam! Okay, that is a lot of cactus. Let's popcorn this all out here. Okay, so we got four. Okay. And I could probably stop saving these. Let's see if we can do this without overlapping the cactus. Got two. Let's just dump all this. Gets you a lot of XP, though. Honestly, I'm kind of curious. All right, so 63. Okay, that gave you 5 XP just from harvesting stuff. And this is actually a lot faster than harvesting up. This is going to be good. See that secondary attack? He gets it on the rebound. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little guy. And his buddy's over there like going, what just happened? <laughs> um, nothing, nothing, nothing just happened, I swear. Your little buddy didn't get, get, get raffle stomped into the next year. I'm sorry, dude. 
I'm sorry. Don't worry, your little buddy will be coming back eventually. He'll respawn, I swear. <laughs> okay, now I just feel horrible. Oh my god, that poor little Jerbo. <laughs> He's just chilling out doing his thing. And here, here comes Flager <laughs> with the thigh master. <laughs> it's like, oh hey, look, we're destroying everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. I think that, oh, okay, so I said we may be doing Saving Joey, but I think also I may have to go with the Thigh Master. That name, that name is just, okay, that, that that's an amazing name for, uh, for a kangaroo. And I'm just getting enough, uh, mushrooms here, which is surprisingly faster than anything else. This, this is the fastest method I've found for getting mushrooms on Scorched Earth, is... A kangaroo in the purple flowers. Tiptoeing through the tulips. Yes. All right, so I think we're good there. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go adventuring and go seeing what all we can... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, guys, really? Hello, Valeria. Okay, never mind. You're fine. Go ahead and eat them. And I do also probably want a horse, but I don't want to measure very tame a horse, so we have to get carrots first. But an equus on this map... I mean, I've had equus on this map, but I've never fully invested into equus on this map. So you were 65, I thought I saw? Yeah. Um, I've never fully invested into uh, equus on this map, so... We'll see. Okay, now this is not... Oh, no. Uh, oh, okay, I was going to say, not as nice! But no, that was nice. Gallimimus. And we can just run. Suck it, dude. Right? <laughs> Meet the Thigh Master's feet of fury. Okay, now that's a good... Uh... Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I may just actually have to rename this guy to uh, Thigh Master. I mean, Red is a good name, and it's quite appropriate, but Thigh Master's Feet of Fury is pretty dang good. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? No. Okay. Also, another thing we need is uh, Thorny Dragons as well. But I'm actually... Oh, no, no, no. That guy just went berserk. I'm honestly just really enjoying the fact that right now we're able to just cruise around uh, until we hit a Microraptor patch. Hey. No, no touchy. Thank you. I said no touchy. Also, I definitely want to uh, try out Archaeopteryx. Yeah, suck it. Okay, did I just jump out of the frying pan into the fire? No, okay. Oh, there's even more XP. Two levels. Six levels. I think I want to take this uh, red up to five. Uh, five thousand. Until we get a higher level one. Okay, there's Yudis over here. I don't want to deal with Yudis. Uh, and there's... That's also another thing about Scorched Earth. Dude. Whoop you up. 
Meet my thigh master's feet of fury there, Mr. Level 5 Sabretooth. Alright. Another Sabretooth. Level 75. Alright, let's go look over here. And see, that's one of the best things so far about this guy. Is if we run into problems, just outrun him. And then if we need to get away, just out jump him. I mean, yeah, we don't cover... I mean, we could cover the same amount of ground running as we do jumping. But jumping gives us elevation, which just gets us out of the fray. Which means that they can't really do squat until uh, we land. And then they're like, oh yeah, we've just been waiting for you down here. But, you know. But a lot of times here on Scorched Earth, they have to run around the, um, the rocks and such like that. So, hello. Level 40. Okay. Oh, and hyena. Oh, we definitely need to do hyenas. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. He Hyenadons are definitely a thing we need to do. I don't want to... I haven't seen a Thylus spawn down here in a long time. I thought they uh, moved that spawn. Hello? But, yeah, we're not doing Thylas in this playthrough. Thylas would be just too dang easy. For an underdog's, pfft, yeah, forget about it. Is this a message? No. It could have been so awesome. Come over the hill, you know, epically. We fought, we struggled with every inch of our life. Coming over that hill right there. Everything fought us tooth and nail. And then we crested the, um, oh, the hill. And then we bore witness to the most amazing level 150 Procoptodon we'd ever seen. And next to a purple drop that we could have totally 100% gotten. And then, no, no, it was it was just a letdown on all fronts. I mean, it's a level 40 Procoptodon, and it was a loot drop that you can't open till level 45. So, that happened. <laughs> Lamentria, level 50. We also need to be on... Oh, that's a cool-looking one. Oh, dude, why couldn't you have had a... I need my add-a-one gun. Yeah, a level 150 in those colors. Oh, that would have been so amazing. I'm also very um, interested in seeing just how the Procoptodons handle the caves. Although I do think with caves, we may have to go with Carnos. Just because of their bleed. Because in there you get the little tiny rock elementals. And the bleed really is honestly the, just the best way of taking care of them. Hello. Oi. Oh, level 100. You're getting closer. Is this the path to high level uh, ruse? Yeah? Oh, really? You want a piece of me? You don't want a piece of me! I probably should have checked your level. No, level 35. Never mind. And I went out looking for loot, but apparently I'm not high enough level to get any of the loot that's out right now. Alright, so can we jump? Is there a way that we can jump all the way up here? Oh, it's so cool! We almost bounced. We almost like clipped that with our nose. Come on, dude, use your teeth. Grab hold. Yeah, suck it, dude. But yeah, there's just so much stuff now. Now that we're actually mobile and we can get around, there's so much stuff I have my eyes set on. Another purple drop. Come on, where's all the blue drops? Blue drops, green drops. I'll pass on the white drops. But blue drops, green drops, come on. Oh, there's a horse up there. Hello! How you doing? 
All right. Purple drop. Nothing. There's blue drop way over there. All right. Now I'm gonna go take a look at one spot that people, the uh, one certain person has been asking me every time, and let's see if we can actually make it over there without getting harassed by too many things. Oh, I see you. I see. Oh, I see you. All right. Let's go see. Oh, there's two. 80. Oh, and you got the good colors too. Fifteen. Never mind. Yeah, that color right there. I may tame you just because I like your colors. Get the colors bred in. Hello. All right, the knockback on these guys is great. That was good. All right, now we're starting to get into... Microraptor territory. So I need to keep my eyes out. I have yet to encounter Microraptors with this. So I'm not sure just how well it'll handle it. I mean, when you're on like a Thyla or something like that, all you have to do is just stand still. I mean, well, you've got the eight seconds once you've been knocked off to, you know, kind of make that decision for you. But, um, usually... Usually, a Thyla will just eat up the Microraptor while you're unconscious. Then, as soon as you, uh, end up breaking the days, you just go, oh, okay, all right, let's hop back on our Thyla and let's move along our merry um, way. I don't think it's going to be that simple with this guy. Hello, I thought you were a Carno there for a split second. And when you didn't go, rawr, and eat my face, then I realized that you were not a Carno. So, hey, bravo. Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, just barely. Dude, use your teeth to hang on. Man. <laughs> we got to teach our kangaroos to use their teeth to hang on to the rock walls. It'll help out a lot. All right, here's the red ob. Keep my eyes out for wyverns. Oh, hey, there's more. There's ruse everywhere. Come on. Are you seriously that far behind a tree? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, it's a sheep. All right, so you can't put a wild sheep in your pouch. That has... Oh, no. I do not want to deal with Capros. But, yeah, I've been... One person in the comments... said to come take a look down here. And, honestly... I mean, it's okay... I'm not sure this is where I want to build. How's the wind situation? 40% wind. That's kind of abysmal. Let's see. 40%, 40%, 85%. Okay, 85% is not too bad. Not too great. Hey, Raptors. Sucker raptors, I'm out of here! Oh, I, I, I thought I was going to do like a heroic leap, but no, that didn't happen. Alright, so, Red Ob, while it is kind of okay, the wind situation, not that great. Alright, let's go check out Blue if we can get over there in a rapid amount of time. Uh, 
Uh, those guys weren't ready for any butt slurpage. I go. Carnos. All right, so the mobility on these guys is very, very impressive. All right, 20% wind. Oh, dude, really? Really? Oh man, hello. Have I already looked at your butt? Yes. How about yours? 80. 25. Carno. Okay. All right, but the fact that, honestly, on the ground, the amount of maneuverability you get from the Procoptodon is just insane. This is so good. All right, check out. And what I'm doing right here when I'm opening up this is I'm looking at the wind. It's 20% west. And because we need as close to 100% wind as we can get. Because electrical structures, like um, generators and such, they take damage whenever there's a storm that goes on. And that's by design for Scorched Earth. And so if we use windmills, which rely on wind, I know, strange enough, then we can have as close to 100% uptime with no damage being done to our electrical structures. is kind of important. 20%. So, when I'm trying to find the like the ideal base, finding one that doesn't overheat you constantly where you don't get a uh, heat stroke from going outside, and then also finding one this is prime microraptor territory. But yeah, finding one that you don't overheat by going outside and getting heat stroked. No, stop pooping. And <laughs> it's not like you could control it, dude. But um and then also one that Okay, that's Microraptors. Microraptors. Microraptors will outrun anything. They are the fastest creature in the game. Yeah, they were just about on me. Jumping really helped. Okay, so we, the key thing with Microraptors is just avoid them. That was good. And it doesn't take very long to charge up the jump on these guys. Which is really cool. 20% wind. What was I talking about before? The Microraptor incident? <laughs> oh, yeah. Find, oh, this is... Whoa. This is nice. 100% wind right here. On the edge of the desert. Right next to the blue. And it's only 9.29 in the morning. I want to see how hot this gets. But this is a good spot. All right, so we're already hot at 9.30 in the morning. 
There's no wind here. Really? No wind. That's not odd. 20. Okay, so this is the windless hill. Forty percent around the blue ob. I'm gonna go take a look at the back side of the blue ob. Hello. Forty percent. Eighty-five percent. Okay. You guys you guys have any butt slurpers around here? No? Alright, so I think Oh no 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 no. Okay, just the ability to jump to get your butt out of trouble, that's huge. Hey guys. I think I'm done looking at you guys for today because now I'm on a mission. I wanna get over, except for you. 100, okay, not bad. I wanna get over to the green ob and see what the, te what the um, wind is like over there. 85% right here. But up here, twenty percent. Okay, we just passed into the high desert. Okay. All right, let's get over to Green Ob. I'll bring you guys back unless if, uh, we die, and then I'll bring you guys back for that because those are always fun, right? All right, and down in this ravine, right down here on the north side of the ravine that we're at, it's sixty-five percent wind. I think I want to go up to the other side, although I have to be very, very aware of Capro's Hello! And apparently Perlovia! Oh my gosh! Alright, Capro's Perlovia Micro Raptors Mike Scorch Third! Stop giving me heart attacks! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Finally a loot drop. With Whoa, hello. With absolutely nothing in it. But yeah, I figured out as soon as you see a Microraptor, just jump. And then the Microraptor will be like, yeah, we ain't chasing that. And then they'll run off. It works out quite well. Um, it doesn't make you immune to them because it can still hit you. Especially if you don't jump properly or fast enough. But yeah. All right. What's the 40% wind? 40% wind. Uh, windless bluff. Windless, 100% right here on the edge is 100%. This is the high desert. 40%. And the high desert is always 100% wind, right? Yeah, right there, 100%. So if we can put windmills down here... Put them down there and then run them up. I don't know. I mean, maybe that'd work. Maybe suspend them. Uh, there was that one bluff over by the uh, the blue ob, which did look pretty good. So, yeah. We may end up going over there and doing that. And also, there's one last spot I want to take a look at. By the way, this is the green ob. 40% wind. Hello. Forty percent. All right. Another loot drop. Relotop saddle. Hey, and a water jar. That we needed that. Nice. All right, but yeah. Uh, one other spot I wanted to go take a look at it was out this way. All right, we're getting out by the Rex Triangle, Mantis. 
all over the place. All right, so of course this is high wind or high, uh, yeah, high wind, 100%. But I want to see if there's a feasible way to actually make a base out here. Because it's 100% wind out here. But if there's a water well, that will change a few things. Oh, you hit hard. No, no, stop. I kick you. Kick you. Ouch. Dude, stop with the jumpy smack attack. Thank you. I mean, if there's a water well right here. This would be all right. I mean, we just have to ship in our, uh, you know, wood and stone and such. But then again, we're going to be mostly working with Adobe, so. There's an XP box there. I'm going to save that one. Of course, our water is already going away. Might as well get a drink of that now. And then also, over here on these little oasis, let's take a look. Some of these little oasises are pretty dang good. Ooh, this. Yeah, you have to deal with this straight uh, snake every once in a while. But honestly, this could be a pretty good spot. Or just use the oasis to gather our resources. And then there's an XP buff right there. I might as well get it. Thank you. Alright, and this one right here is way down here. This could be good. I kind of like that spot. It's got salt. Honestly, it has just about everything we need. It's got... Uh, uh, wood, stone, sand, salt, uh, berry bushes, and then also right up here. And hold on, what's the temperature like here? And it drops, the temperature drops down right here. This could be a good spot. And of course, we go right into the high desert as soon as we get there. Actually, we could build tall there and not... Um, you know, like centralized in the oasis kind of thing. And then right up here, there's a whole ton of metal. Which, getting up to with a Procoptodon is surprisingly simple. Hey, look at that. We're already up here. What level are you? There we go. What's the wind like here? 20%. Oh, all right. So I've got a lot of things to think about. I'm not going to commit to a base location now, but it was nice. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh, not too bad. All right. But that did give me some food for thought on where I want to put my base just because oh tapajaras but yeah all right so hey I'm gonna head back to base honestly uh did a lot of running around a lot of testing uh, basically on the procoptodon and its versatility on just being mobile on this map it is really 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 good yeah I mean this is kind of amazing actually all right, so, hey, uh, I mean, yeah, I haven't felt pressured at all, except for a couple Microraptor incidents, and one Perlovia that made me jump out of my butt. Yep, yep, I may have to go clean my chair off after that. You're welcome for the visual image. All right, so, hey, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe, and until next time, this is Flinger, and take it easy, everybody.